an autonomous robot shark has been deployed at a harbor in the UK to devour plastic waste before the tide takes it out to sea. The waste shark was designed to tackle the scourge in ocean pollution and protect the marine area's local wildlife and ecosystem. The high-tech aquatic drone was released in Ilfricum Harbour in Devon, the first test in the UK. It follows on from successful launches in five countries, including South Africa and the UAE. Waste shark can swallow up to 60 kilograms of debris in one trip and if running five days a week could clear 15 tons of waste from waterways every year, according to experts. The device can roam distances of up to three miles, or for eight hours, before it needs to be charged. Its inventors, Dutch environmental technology company Ran Marine, used the whale shark, a slow-moving, filter-feeding carpet shark, as inspiration for the drone model. Much like the whale shark, which swims around with its mouth open to capture plankton and small fish, its robot counterpart scoops up plastic waste. Waste shark emits no pollution, poses no threat to wildlife and doesn't produce any noise as it navigates the water eating any waste that crosses its path. The robot can pick up rubbish as deep as one foot below the surface. Once gathered, it is delivered to a nearby collection point. It can be directed by remote control or an iPad, or set up to run autonomously, and its movements are tracked by GPS satellite. Waste Shark is fitted with a collision avoidance system that uses laser imaging to spot nearby objects, and adjust its positioning if it senses one. The drone can also measure water quality and capture data such as depth, salinity, chemical makeup, pH balance and water temperature. WWF and Sky Ocean Rescue launched the robot at the harbor in North Devon, as part of an ongoing campaign to protect the local environmental and keep North Devon a very special place. Ilfracombe Harbor is within a marine protected area that is home to diverse species, including grey seals and pink sea fan corals. Collecting waste in the harbor prevents it damaging the immediate area, and from being taken out to sea and threatening the important wildlife in surrounding MPAs. WWF is a partner in the North Devon Marine Pioneer, working in partnership with local and national organizations, to develop innovative approaches for management of the marine environment. The marine protected areas in North Devon are home to some of the country's most incredible coastlines and marine life, but plastic is having a devastating effect on our oceans, said Dr. Jenny Oates, UKC's program manager at WWF. The waste shark will help us fight the rubbish that enters the harbor, snapping it up before the tide takes it out to sea and it ends up threatening wildlife in other precious marine areas. It is programmed with GPS points to ensure that it covers hot spots where waste gathers, and its path can be programmed and monitored remotely. As well as plastic it will extract oils, other pollutants and pest plants such as types of algae. Waste shark is cheaper, greener, more effective and less disruptive than other methods of dealing with marine litter, said Oliver Cunningham, chief commercial officer at Ren Marine. We hope to see our drone in cities and towns, wherever humans live on water, around the world. 8 million tons of plastic are dumped in the oceans each year, with catastrophic consequences for wildlife, according to WWF. 90% of the world's seabirds have fragments of plastic in their stomachs, while up to 80% of mussels taken from a number of British beaches were found to contain microplastics.